<laughs> okay. Well, we're in the middle of a great session here at the Creation Station. I'm back with a great Rosalind. Kind. Hi, everybody. So happy to have her back. We are uh, at the. We're really excited. We're at the. At yes, the we are. Final, final stages of a monster of a song that we've been working on for close. I was about. Oh my God, close months. To a year. Well, yeah, we started it. When did we start it? I want to say maybe almost same time last year or September or something like that. This has been going on. I think no, we started. I think we started after after September. After September, okay. But that yeah, relieves me. <laughs> Because <laughs> how can you take so long on one song? Okay, now here's the deal. Razi's got some some amazing uh, uh, material coming out. Uh, there's four songs very close to finish. Well, three songs are really really close. Two are done. This one that we're going to talk about today is a song that that you've done before. Haven't I you? did it in the '90s as part of a New Age show that I decided to take on because I was very spiritual, which I still am, and I wanted to bring people together and have people understand each other better, with all walks of life. But knowing that you have to learn to love self first before you can love others and open yourself to others, and uh, so I did it in the '90s, but. I don't think the world was ready for it yet. I think I was a little ahead of my time. But now... Rosie, ahead of her time. <laughs> but now I think we're in the perfect moment when the world is going through such chaos and uh, abnormalities in so many ways that I think this would be the right time for this song. Exactly. And why would the music not underscore... You know, underscore the times that we live in. So yes. we, we um, uh, when when Rosalind and I talked about the song, we knew immediately that we had to treat it very differently than the way it was done before. It was done before, covered before by many, many, many people. people. Many people, Fifth Dimension, yeah. and, and then it was Donna. Paul Revere and the Raiders. Was, it was that not Donna Summer, a disco hit? I can't even remember. <laughs> but I, me I remember some of you know the others, but there was a quite of a line, a lineup, let alone the original, the writer of the song. Yes, and she did a magnificent version of that. Well, you're going to recognize it very quickly. Yeah. We're going to give you just a few snippets. We're going to show you the scenes because the song goes through so many uh, scenarios and uh, is almost like a like a movie in and of itself, a standalone movie without picture. But here it is. Uh, here's how we start. Uh, get ready for the Deep South. And Deep South, Brooklyn girl. Straw hat, smoking a corn card pipe, not really lit, <laughs> with a branch with a fishing string on it. Like, I'm, I'm going fishing. What do I know about fishing? But, you know, <laughs> down and south. And here's how that sounds. Rosie in the Deep South. Come on, please. Come on, children, come on down to the glory river. Gonna wash you up and wash you down. Gonna God, I love that low register. When Rosie <laughs> sings in that register, I get really excited. You know, first of all, my, my beautiful tube microphone loves that. <laughs> And you know, like I love hearing in that register. I love working in. Oh, I got whoops. really. Whoops. Sorry. <laughs> I love Fiery. working in that register. Fire that engineer. <laughs> <laughs> I can't. He's also the producer. Well, you know, it has its perks. <laughs> but but the thing is that that you know I've heard Rosie on several shows live and on other recordings. You know, soar into these beautiful big notes. And but that low register. That okay. I think that I thought we had to have this on this recording, and it's predominantly finished, uh, uh, featured. Yeah. But uh, so the next station of this song is somewhere completely different. And we had to done. We've done a whole bunch of soul searching. And we had to almost like stop. We stopped. We, we, we really, when we decided to do it, because I brought mm. it in, and I said, I really feel this is right for the times we're going through. And we, you fell in love with it right away. But it was amazing how difficult it was to come up with an idea of where we take it. Yeah, and we would just then follow through and like for a verse or something like mm -hmm. that and say, now it has to go somewhere else. And then time would bring us that inspiration. We'd come back and say, what about right. this? And right. all of a sudden, the, it was like stop signs along the way. And I'm sure that a lot of mm -hmm. you songwriters go through that and arrangers and orchestrators. This was an extreme case, but yeah. it's it was worth the ride. Now, here's the next station, on the, the next stop on that stop subway. Stop on that station. The southern station. I got fury in my soul Fury gonna take me to that glory goal In my mind I can't study war no more Save the people, save the children Save the country, save the country T. 
Buckingham on sax. Just in case if you didn't hear that over the music, that was Catisse Buckingham burning like this this hot bebop solo. And, uh, Back in a jazz club now. Yes, in now New we York went City. from the New from from South. We came all the way up to somehow ended up in New York City in a jazz club in a souterrang somewhere. <laughs> and uh, this this was a really interesting uh, soul searching process. The the next stage uh, that it took us after again mm -hmm. some regrouping on it while we were working on another material for this wow. upcoming project, whatever that is, be it a CD <laughs> or an EP or wow. whatever it is, or it's singles, we don't know yet. Uh, is that um, that we're both fans of these vocal layerings, the, yes. the great American craft of vocal layerings, Manhattan Manha Transfer. Yes, Manhattan Transfer. And in my case, I am a fan of, not only of Manhattan, but also of Take Six and the New York yeah. Voices. And, uh, and so we ended up trying some of that out, yeah. and we ended up with the following scenario. And not only that, yeah. from there on it moved to Africa. And now we're in this stomping 6-8 tribal rhythm that lays layers on top of this whole thing. And uh, here's what that sounds like. I just love the energy of that. It just keeps unfolding, keep building, right? Um, the um, we actually did have that's the background singers that you hear that is uh, Razi and yours truly, but once we first of all we thought that we sound really good together already, which was a complete <laughs> surprise. How 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 could it be that my texture sort of sort of underscores or works and melds together with hers? But we d we discovered we did, that it yes, works. Yes, did very well. And then we added two more voices on it. One of them was Kemaya yes. Seward. Right. Uh, for, uh, the former lead voice of uh, Hiroshima, and the other gentleman was Eric Butler. So we have a lot of vocal, uh, you know, vocal layers in there. Textures, that, textures, textures, and layers of those textures. Exactly. And uh, uh, this next section here is really interesting. Here's where we end up now. The train stops at this station. Wait a minute. That already we had that, didn't we? Wait a minute. Fire that engineer. <laughs> Save the fathers, save the fathers, save the sisters, save the children. Luis Mascado. Fabulous. God, so Yeah, that that was our great a new discovery, uh, Luis Mascaro on the violin. What an what an amazing talent. He came from Brazil, I believe, about mm. four or five years ago to uh, Los Angeles. Mm. And uh, gosh, what a what an accomplished musician! We had such a blast. We did. We had so much fun. They had fun, which was great. Yeah, they really enjoyed their time here. Joyous thing, you know. It's you great. know, you know. If it's not, you know, sometimes session work can be arduous. But in our case, you know, we had a lot of, we had to do a lot of stopping and starting. We weren't forcing it. But you know, when when these these great artists come in and and just bring their gift to the music with their heart, with their hearts, with their hearts, exactly. That is when, you know, you, you, that's such a gift. It really mm -hmm. feels like you walk out of the session, you may be exhausted, but right, you feel you blessed feel at the same time. Oh my God, such so a I blessing. Think, I think we can't give away much more than this, but <laughs> suffice it to say that this goes to a, to a gospel church. <laughs> we don't know if it's in the north or in the south. <laughs> and and, and uh, with this wild ending, and we are talking yeah. not only about you know the political situation we also talk about the environment. environment we have a deepening of the character of the yes. song in there that the choir is singing later on and then it ends, ends up, up in, in a in a car accident <laughs> in new york city perhaps maybe new york city a good very just well. part of all the chaotic i happenings. thought joyzy personally joyzy joyzy no joyzy 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 <laughs> i'm trying to get i'm kind of trying to get online with the accent here <laughs> But uh, so so, just please stay tuned for for this upcoming release. It, it may be in form of an EP. It may be in form of a of a full length CD. Uh, we are well on our way uh, recording, and this will be released very shortly. Very shortly. Um, yes. And uh, please check out. Also, uh, keep continuing to come to Rosin's website. It's under construction right now, and there'd be new things being added. Yes. And. What's the website address again? It's W. Do we need the W's anymore? www.roslynkind.com. 
Right on. There's a lot of new stuff happening, and uh, there's also be, going to be new social media posts amongst. Yes. This is one of them. Yeah, we've been waiting. I mean, I think we only did one other or two other things uh, for um, the Facebook or a page for social media. But now we're going to come. We're going to come at you a little more now that we're at a, a finalizing stage. Got to do it. Got to do it. Well, I'm. I'm once again. Uh, uh, you know, thanks for tuning in to the Creation Station and Rosalind's channel. I'm going to uh, uh, post it on my channel as well, and it will very likely also be uploaded to YouTube. Um, so uh, the web links and everything should be streaming at the bottom. You should be able to see all that and come to the website. Also visit my website, mm -hmm. stefanobroff.com. Mm -hmm. The address will also mm -hmm. be there, and mm -hmm. uh, we're we're thrilled to have you with us right now uh, paying attention and looking at the new material that's coming out um yes. god bless god bless and have a great day and god be with you right on take good care bye bye